Okay, we had a great day today. We caught a nice keeper snook this morning. We're gonna go ahead and, and have that for dinner. So we thought we'd just show you how we're grilling these things up. We, there's obviously a ton of different ways to do it, and I'll just show you my favorite. It's, it's really, keep it simple is uh, the whole approach here. Uh, so you can see these are all the, uh, the, uh, the tools that we have. Um, first of all, we have our snook fillets, of course. Then we have a bowl of olive oil. We're gonna dip the fillets in the olive oil before we put it on the grill just so it doesn't stick. Um, and as far as spices, I like this stuff. This is the uh, black and redfish seasoning. Uh, put that on there, as well as just some simple garlic pepper. Uh, so I just put a, a hefty coat of this on each side and let that thing rock and roll. As far as utensils, simple spatula. And the secret, uh, I guess the essential tool is just a butter knife, because this is what really, uh, for me, it just lets me know when the fish is done. As soon as this thing pokes through the fish without any resistance, you're ready, the, the fish is ready to, to be taken off. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. Our grill is, uh, we want it to be at 400, is the, my, at least my favorite number right now, it's a little bit high. So we'll go ahead and turn the nozzles down. But uh, again, just, keep, just real simple, just uh, coat both sides. Let me go ahead and take the knobs off both of these. So again, this is a nice thick fillet. So as far as timing, uh, this is a pretty thick fillet here. So I'll probably do about four four minutes on each side, uh, plus or minus. And again, the the knife will be the the final test. But uh, I'll do I'll probably end up doing four minutes on the first side, and then I'll start doing the knife test about four minutes on the second side. So again, just dabble dabble the olive oil on. Put some spices on there. Now the pepper. And just plop it on. Put the thick ones in the middle. Usually it's hottest in the middle, so I'll put the thickest ones in the middle. And uh, later on, uh, we'll, uh, and obviously too, another trick is to start with the thickest ones first. Um, that way they'll, of course, you know, they need more time. So that way the, the final result will be done at around the same time. All right, so I now put all the uh, all the fish on there. The just the bottom side is now coated with uh, with the seasoning. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, and coat each one on top with seasoning, and we're going to go ahead and close the lid. So go ahead and do that right now. Now waiting time. Ooh, yes, looking amazing. Here's number two. All right, so we're now actually about the five minute mark. These things were thicker than uh, the normal. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and start doing our poke test. Again, uh, you know it's done as soon as the knife goes through without any resistance. So this thick one right here, it's still, still kind of resisting halfway through. This one is now good. That one a little bit resistance. That one's definitely good. That one's a little bit of resistance. All right, so a lot of these are done. Let's go ahead and start taking these bad boys off. No caps on board. Congratulations, if you made it this far, that means you enjoyed the video, so please like this puppy right now. And to see the best fishing videos we've found across the internet, click this button right here, right now. And for fishing tips, click this button right over here. And last but not least, if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, click this one and you'll get our best videos every time we post them. Otherwise, fish on and high five.